broadcasting live four days a week worldwide from the sunny beaches of Southern California. This is ExtremeHealthRadio.com. Hi, this is the Health Ranger, Mike Adams from NaturalNews.com. And I'm listening to Justin and Kate on Extreme Health Radio. Tune in every day for awesome shows that will empower you to change your life. Well, today is going to be a fun, fun show, isn't it, Kate? Oh my gosh, I was just talking back and forth in the chat room with yeah? SB, and I said, oh, we're so excited about this, we love, love, love Susan Smith-Jones. Susan Smith-Jones. she just lights a fire. She does, and if you are uh, in need of a little motivation, a little mm. kick in the pants, a little uh, inspiration, this <laughs> is going to be a good show for More you. More than a little. Yeah, this is going to be a fun show. We're going to talk about uh, healthy eating tips and um, some lifestyle, some dietary changes you can make uh, during the holiday season. So. Yeah. I don't know, but apparently the average person gains between 5 and 12 pounds. That's so hard to believe, isn't it? Isn't that a lot during the holiday season? That's a season? lot. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of weight. Woo! I mean, the way my dad ate last night, I could understand maybe why. Oh my gosh. But he doesn't put on any weight. He doesn't put on... That's insane. <laughs> he shoveled... He, he took his time chewing, but he ate... He sat there and ate for, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, but that's probably why. He chews very, very well. Pretty incredible. Yeah, he doesn't put on any weight, but average person 5 to 12 pounds during the holiday... Or 7 oh. to 12, something like that during the holiday season. That's discouraging. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this. With we're going to figure out how to, how to not have Ms. that happen. Miss Susan. I know, right? Yeah. So we're going to introduce Susan Smith-Jones really quick in just a minute. But if you guys would like to check out any of the links that we have on today's show, you can do that. What is this? Episode 351? Yeah, you got it. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Um, ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash 351. And you'll be able to grab the show notes and websites and articles, different things that we mention, uh, so you don't have to take notes. So. All that is at episode 351, and we broadcast live two days a week on Monday and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time at extremehealthradio.com forward slash live if you want to join the chat room and make friends with great people like Isby and Tana and all kinds of great regulars that are in there. Hmm. So that would be a lot of fun if you want to do that. And if you'd like to support us this holiday season, we can't thank you enough for the people who have gone through our link on Amazon. That's so helpful, isn't it, Kate? Oh, my goodness. You guys just keep the wheels rolling over here. I mean, you know what? I haven't talked to one person who doesn't make a purchase on Amazon regularly. So I know. You guys doing it through us has made a huge impact on what we're able to keep the lights on and keep going over here. So yes. Thank definitely. you, guys. Definitely, definitely. So if you want to bookmark our link on Amazon, a great way to do that is just to go over to extremehealthradio.com slash Amazon, or there's links to it on the front of our, our website. And then bookmark that link and use that link every single time you make an Amazon purchase. And that would just help support the show. So we appreciate that. And uh, it helps to keep the show free for others who cannot donate or pay or anything like that. So it's really a great thing. And so today, this is going to be fun. We have Susan Smith-Jones. She's the founder and president of Health Unlimited, a Los Angeles-based consulting firm dedicated to optimal wellness, health education, human potential things like that. Just little things like that. Just little. Yeah. Things she little does world changers. On her spare time. Yeah, right. But she's a world-renowned motivational speaker, author, written tons of books. She's an expert on weight loss. She's a Pulitzer Prize-nominated author, a wellness consultant, and uh, she's the author of a ton of books. And her website is susansmithjones.com. And she's been on our show on episode 318 and 281 dropping knowledge on the people. Yeah. And those were great shows, really fun shows and really motivating shows. She's just a great person and we're so excited to have her on. So thank you so much, Dr. Jones, for being on and um, taking some time out of your day to be with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's great to be with you two again. Aww. We were just you. talking before the show about the, the rain here in California. It's it's the first rain in, in forever, it seems like, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, liquid sun. You know, we need it and... It's a wonderful way to end the year and to begin the new year, feeling a little bit more refreshed, and the earth is more refreshed, and, you know, I think we need to bless every drop we get here, in, in our area at least. Mm. I know, you were saying something that you had heard uh, before the show we were talking, that you said that 
What, what did you say that it was... Um, the worst drought in how many years? And how think? many years was it? Yeah, this was on the national news last week, and I don't know how they measure this, but in 1,200 years, the worst drought in California. Oh, my goodness. And uh, last Friday was the best rain that we've had in a year. We got more rain one day last Friday than we have all year, but they say we need 150 more days, like last Friday with rain, to make up for the drought we are now experiencing. Isn't that incredible? Amazing? Kate and I were just yeah. talking the other day about how even just in our uh, lifetime, we've seen the weather change pretty significantly. Uh, even during our childhood, the weather was much different here in California. And, um, it seems like that's going on all over the world, doesn't it? I think so. And now what's interesting is I did an early morning hike this morning, and two of the women that I was hiking with said that they're now taking showers double the length from the rain we had last Friday. <laughs> and I tried to tell them that, that this doesn't mean we have to stop conserving our water. Right. You know, we still need to, need to be very digil, digilant about this. Mm. Diligent. Diligent. Mm. Diligent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something to take into, yeah, into it's consideration. A, it's a good reminder. We've, uh, I've, I think you have too, Justin, um, taken a little bit more... Um, I don't know, just the the approach of conserving when we're washing dishes, we turn off the water in between because we don't have a dishwasher and it's like we used to just leave the water running and I think it's just creating a really good awareness in people and now it's just going to... Or brushing your teeth. Exactly. Taking action is what we need to do though. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's good. So maybe... But that doesn't mean that we should cut down on the water we drink every day. Right. Because, you know, this is a great segue to say that our body is... Our, 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 our entire body is 70% water. Our cells are 70% water. And so is planet Earth. And I don't think that's a coincidence. Hmm. And we all need to drink about, you know, a minimum of six, eight, maybe more if you take lots of saunas and exercise a lot of purified water during the day. And, and not every liquid will do. You know, although decaffeinated herbal tea, freshly extracted vegetable juice, and diluted fruit juices can count towards that water tally. But things like coffee, teas, caffeinated teas, colas, and alcoholic beverages actually dehydrate the body. You know, they're wet, but they're not water. In fact, they're anti-water. And, you know, and here's just a little, and I'll give you some tips throughout this time together on how to look and feel your best as well during the holidays. And one is just to drink more water. If you want your skin to have more of a beautiful, youthful glow, because lack of moisture in our faces causes wrinkles the way lack of moisture in a a plum causes a prune or in a grape causes a raisin. Uh So definitely keep your body hydrated. It's a safe, cheap, and effective appetite suppressant. It is. And most That's of the what... time, w- when we think we're hungry, we're actually thirsty. Yeah, I've heard that. And if you go for a little a glass of water first, maybe you'll uh, not, right. not have to eat. And um, what a great thing. Yes. And it never hurts to put some fresh lemon juice in your water. Mm-hmm. Now, because it, it creates more alkalinity in your body. Now you think, What? You know, I know a lemon is acid. It's acid to your taste, but once you digest it, it actually creates um, an alkaline uh, reservoir in your body, and and lemon is very cleansing and detoxifying. So what what I do every morning is I have a glass half-gallon pitcher. I like glass better than plastic. And I fill it up with my good alkaline water from a machine, so I fill it up, and then I take slices of lemon, and I put them in the water, and I drink from this all day. If I'm home, I can just pour a glass, but if I go out, I can pour it into a bottle, and you don't want to save a lot for when you go to bed at night, because then you'll be up all night and won't get the good benefits of sleep. Mm -hmm. So you drink this throughout the day, and you get into the habit of it, because even a little minor uh, dehydration in your body lowers your your metabolism, which means you don't burn as many calories. It makes you cranky. It's hard for you to digest the food in your body. You know, so many reasons to keep your body hydrated. 
And remember, it's always best to drink the water, not with a meal, because all this extra fluid with a meal will dilute the digestive enzymes. Mm. And as we get older, we lose lots of those good enzymes. You know, I've been doing a lot of water in the morning, especially during the winter months, because you, you know how it's so dry and and that. Yes. And so I've been doing a lot of water first thing in the morning. Exactly. And, um, notice a big difference. Yeah. Really great. Yeah, because you're you're dehydrated, even if you don't know it. And most people won't know this, especially this time of year. You sweat out about a pint of water through the night. You Do don't you really? feel it. You don't know it. It evaporates. You you know it comes out of your mouth, the air, and you wake up always dehydrated. So that's when I drink almost a quart of really good water. Uh, and you know, you, I've told you this before. I take my glass two quart teapot. I fill it up with my good water, and then I take out some ginger root from the fridge, and this time of year you get it everywhere. I take out the turmeric root, and I even take out burdock root. It looks like a brownish long carrot. And with the skin on, I make little slices, little coin slices, three or four of each one, and I put them into the water, and I heat that up, and so it makes the water a beautiful orangish, greenish, really pretty color. And then I drink uh, 16 ounces up to, uh, if I have time, um, a quart, uh, let me see, yeah, 16 ounces up to 32 ounces in the morning. And, of course, it goes right through you because you've had nothing to eat. Mm -hmm. But it will absolutely hydrate your body. And you could go buy turmeric and ginger tea bags. But I like the freshness, and you save a lot of money just making it fresh yourself. And whatever's left over, I, I then, um, you know, drink that throughout the day, or I use this as the liquid base for a smoothie. Mm, I oh. love that. That's a great idea. Turmeric's very, very healing, anti-inflammatory. Same with uh, ginger, right? That's right. Yeah, ginger's really warming on your body. It helps you burn more calories. Turmeric is one of nature's best anti-inflammatories, and you know that they've now have hundreds of studies on it that shows it helps pretty much prevent and heal most diseases. So, uh, and I also I buy um, at my co-op in Santa Monica, I buy uh, one pound bags of organic turmeric powder. So, in addition to making that tea, I put a teaspoon of it in my water, and I drink that down in the morning. Wow, and then you could juice it, too. You could do all kinds of things with it. Yeah, yeah, you could juice the root, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we have a ton of those actually sitting in our fruit basket out there ready to get juiced. We should have put some in the water We should have done that. Yeah, think about it. yeah. Great for the joints, right? The turmeric and, and lowering excellent. inflammation. Excellent, yes, yes. Excellent for the joints. And I know lots of people this time of year feel their joints more you know yes. when it, the weather gets colder so it's great for your joints and you know and, and so are and many things we'll talk about I'll, we'll talk about how to prevent weight gain little tips i have and and if anybody ever um has a hangover or wants to prevent one i'll give some tips on how to um prevent that or heal that and and by the way all of this is on my website I love it. Yeah, let's. Get, I want to make sure to get not not forget to get into those uh, the tips for the hangover because maybe mm -hmm. we can do that at the end. I, I love that idea. Um, so your first sort of tip for the holidays and for people, um, you know, during these types of situations is to eat frequently and not skip any meals. Yeah, now that sounds great, doesn't it? And that's what we need to do because there's a common strategy, especially during the holidays, and that's to skip breakfast and maybe lunch because you know a big meal is coming up, maybe that big holiday office party or a family gathering. So you save up the calories for the celebration, and this strategy always backfires because you come to the meal starving and you wind up eating way more than you ever intended. So eating frequently throughout the day on healthy foods will help to eliminate hunger, and that will prevent overeating. It helps stabilize your blood sugar. And even something really small, you know, maybe, you know, whatever it might be, maybe it's just a few cut-up vegetables, maybe it's a bowl of soup, is better than nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I agree. And my, you know, we we're talking about this at the beginning of the show about my dad and how he is the world's slowest eater, but he's so healthy and he doesn't even eat all that well. I mean, he eats okay, but uh, he's the world's slowest eater. And we were talking during our meal last night that if you, we were to eat more often, like you were talking about here, the problem is that if you don't eat for a long period of time and then the next meal you do eat, you want to eat really fast and not chew it. And so that's an issue too, isn't it? Yes. Well, so let me ask you something, because this will go with the next tip about your dad. Does he eat slowly because he chews so well, or does he eat slowly because he doesn't have great teeth and he can't chew really well? And then how long would it take him to finish a meal like last night? And then I'll give you two tips about the timing, the length of time it takes you to eat. I love it. Yeah, he... um he has great teeth, very, very healthy teeth, and he's always been a healthy guy. Uh, not necessarily ever the healthiest diet, though, but um, just in general, he's very healthy, and he eats slow because he chews, like he chews every bite. And um, and I think last night... Good for him. He probably ate... It took him it, probably two or three times as long to eat his meal than it did for us. Um, so what, did it take you 20 minutes and it took him an hour? Yeah, I'd say about that. Yeah, yeah. about that. Yeah. Okay, when do you hear this? <laughs> All right, that's good to know. And he's doing the right thing because, you know, centuries ago, um, there was a doctor, you know, a couple centuries ago, Dr. Fletcher. And he, he, he was the doctor that said you need to, it's called Fletcherism, you need to chew your food so well that they become a liquid in your mouth because half of your digestion is done in your mouth. If you chew three or four or five times and then swallow, like most people do, Mm -hmm. it puts lots of extra stress on your digestive system. And let's talk about two sides of the coin. First of all, you always want to eat slowly, just like your dad does, because especially if you want to lose weight, hormones signal the brain when you're full, but it takes at least 20 minutes from start time before you feel it. So slow eating aids not only in the digestion, because you chew better, but it also gives your brain a chance to know what the stomach is doing. So if you make the meal last by talking, or here's a novel idea, put the fork down between bites, Mm -hmm. or just plain waiting, you're less likely to eat on automatic pilot and more likely to realize you're full. And, and besides eating slowly, as I mentioned, chew your food thoroughly because you'll be amazed at how much willpower you can generate when you take your time and you give your brain's satiety center an opportunity to tell you that you're not that hungry anymore. Mm. But here's the flip side. Now, lots of people knew that it's imp- know that it's important to take more than 20 minutes to eat, but the flip side is when you have those big meals – that we often have on holidays, rich food, lots of calories, Mm -hmm. you really want to finish the big meal within an hour of starting. And here's why. The body produces a second insulin hit if it senses that a lot of food is coming in continuously. And you can avoid that second hit and all the subsequent fat storage that it triggers by finishing within an hour of starting. So if you see something you forgot to eat within the hour, that's okay. Save it for later. Save it for tomorrow. It will still be there, but you won't be wearing it on your hips. And you Uh think about all the upcoming bowl games, you know, where people have parties to watch football uh, throughout the day, and they constantly eat nonstop throughout the day. That's one of the quickest ways to gain weight. Here's another good way to gain weight. And it has to do. You, do you ever wonder how sumo wrestlers get so big? Oh man, I wonder that all the time. <laughs> I do. Well, they do what we don't want to do unless we want to gain weight. But um, remember, breakfast means breaking a fast. And what sumo wrestlers do is they won't eat for a day, sometimes two days, and they'll skip lots of meals, and then they gorge themselves on food. Oh, and yeah. this is absolutely counterproductive if your goal is to lose weight because your body thinks after you've gone a long time without eating, wow, I don't know when the next meal's coming and I better hold on to all of these calories, convert them to fat, and deposit them. So that that's how you gain weight when you, rather than grazing throughout the day, the smaller meals more frequently, 
you skip lots of meals, and then you're famished and you gorge. That's how you can gain weight really quickly. That's amazing. Um, it's it's you know interesting. I've heard people too in terms of eating fast. I didn't know about that eating all your food within an hour. Yeah, I'd never heard that. I heard um, right. some people do like they'll force themselves. They'll have the, you know they'll use chopsticks or something, and it forces them you to know eat what? slow. I, I, mm. I always use chopsticks because it, it like you just said it forces you to eat slower. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, and and you know, I often have business meetings, and it's always funny to see the person I'm I'm sitting with having a meal at a restaurant, and just like you guys, they're done in about 20 minutes, and I'm still <laughs> chewing away. Yeah. But uh, but you want to eat uh, you want to eat throughout the day. The grazing philosophy: smaller meals, because your body can only absorb and metabolize and and use about 600 calories at once for some people it's five for some that have a really slow metabolism it's 400 and all the calories over that rather than being used in your body to keep you alive and working and living will then be deposited as fat so you want to really bring but, snacks with you throughout the day, then? Oh my gosh! Were you were you were you guys Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts? I, I was. I was not, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> and our motto was "Be prepared." Yep. yep. And if you're roaming the mall for hours or sitting in holiday traffic, it always leaves everyone starving and then vulnerable to those usually bad fast food choices. So if you come prepared. To roam around with some crunchy snacks like apples, tangerines, oranges, carrots, celery, even a few nuts and raisins, but not too many of those last two because uh -huh. they're calorie dense, you'll be less likely to succumb to the call of the food court or fast food restaurants. Mm, you know, the bottom line is don't let your blood sugar level get too low because that wipes out any willpower and control you have because you're famished. Mm -hmm. I love it. We're going to take a little bit of a break right now, but the um, the next point I want to get to is um, really, really something that I've done a lot of, and it's really, really great. It's helped me a lot. So we're going to talk about that next. We're with Susan Smith-Jones and her website, if you want to check it out, susansmithjones.com, and all of her books and everything is on there. She's got a great email newsletter list. Um, I would highly recommend going over there and signing up, and we'll talk maybe at the end about some of the things that she gives away for her email list. So good stuff over at susansmithjones.com, and this is episode 351, so we'll have all the links to everything on this particular show page, and we do we do broadcast live four days a week. And no, two days. That's right, two days a week. My mistake. <laughs> and we'll be right back right after this break. I wanted to tell you about this really powerful and unique product called the Q Laser. Did you know there's over 2,500 peer-reviewed clinical research studies showing the benefits of low-level laser therapy on the body? We had Dr. Larry Lytle on episode 165 talking all about it. Dr. Lytle, what is the Q Laser? The Q Laser is a light delivering device, handheld, rechargeable, that is for lay people and professionals that works at the cell level of the body to restore energy. Since the body is all composed of cells and the cells are composed of atoms, it's good for any and everything in the body. It is especially beneficial for injuries. It will reduce swelling and inflammation before your eyes. Literally, you can have a sprained ankle and fly the laser, and within 30 minutes, you can see that the swelling in the ankle has been reduced. Since all disease is inflammatory, you can assume that the same process is working if you have some type of intestinal problem. We have pictures of using a light, a heat instrument to diagnose the intestinal inflammation. We can show that that intestinal inflammation is pretty much gone within three minutes using the Q1000 laser. It's the number one tool in your medicine cabinet. I have a saying, never leave home without your laser. I have had three serious burns, and each time I had my laser with me, I applied the laser immediately after I had the burn. I never even blistered. Kate and I don't want to be without ours. We've worked out a special deal with Dr. Lytle for all of our listeners. If you'd like to learn more about how the Q laser can dramatically improve your health, go to extremehealthradio.com slash laser. 
Hey guys, if you've been following our work for any length of time, you know that I'm a big fan of raw food. I did a raw food diet actually from 2003 to 2010, 100%, and I loved it. And raw food is a huge part of my diet and I just love it. And if you're interested in making healthy, really amazing raw food dishes without spending hours and hours in the kitchen, I would highly recommend checking out a program put together by Russell James called the Raw Chef Program. You could check it out at extremehealthradio.com slash raw chef chef. And I have to say, it's absolutely incredible. I have it and it's got hundreds of hours of, I think it's hundreds of hours of video, professionally done video along with workbooks and PDF files. And he walks you through how to make the most amazing, delicious raw food meals that don't take forever. Everything from mock pizzas and pasta to ice cream to cheese to br- to fluffy bread, if you can imagine it. It's incredible. So I highly recommend you checking it out. It's uh, You can check it out at Extreme Health radio.com slash raw chef and i think you are absolutely going to love this program so check it out now 100 listener supported extreme health radio opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. worldwide don't forget to join our thriving community for health tips inspiration and show updates at extremehealthradio.com slash facebook Thank you, Kate. Appreciate that. Well, we are just enjoying this show, episode 351 with Susan Smith-Jones. Kate just brought me a little bit of bone broth. I appreciate that. And we're having a great time here. And if you guys would like to, uh, if you have any questions, I should say, about any of those products that we just mentioned, the Raw Chef program or the Cute Laser, um, feel free to email me and ask me uh, anything you like about those great, great products. We have both of them and love them uh, a lot. So you can check those out in our store as well if you want to go check those out. And we're with Susan Smith-Jones and her website is susansmithjones.com. And uh, this next particular uh, point that we wanted to go through was something that I feel like it's really helped me a lot. And I used to do a lot of this and I still do it all the time. Is and eat. I've become like you now. I know. We eat a huge meal <laughs> before we go somewhere to eat. We do. We totally do. <laughs> I love that tip. I know. Are you there, Susan? I'm here. And, and you know, most people do that. And and then you still eat a huge meal when you go to the office party or the family gathering And an ounce of prevention goes a long way here. And about an hour before a big holiday meal, it's okay to have something small to eat. Small is the important word here, Mm -hmm. like uh, some fresh veggies, a cup of vegetable soup, maybe some tomato or vegetable juice, uh, maybe even whole grain toast with some almond butter on it. But if you do this about an hour before the big holiday dinner, because you don't often walk into the holiday dinner and immediately sit down. They often have a buffet of things. Um, But you'll see your willpower will soar and your waistline will stay in place. Once again, it's just being prepared, thinking ahead a little bit. You know, that ounce of prevention, you don't want to go famished to the meal. Right. No, I completely agree. That's such a big tip. That's a tip that I've used in my life a lot is, is, um, is doing that. And a lot of times what I would do is just, you know, uh, eat so much, you know, healthy food before I'd go somewhere that when I got to the location, all I really wanted was a little bit of soup or some salad. That's right. And, that and you it. didn't enjoy it as much. Now, to me, the best thing to eat, and I always make, um, about two quarts every morning. I make a beautiful green smoothie. Every day it's a little bit different. Yum. But I'm, I have that in the morning. That's usually my morning meal. And then I go do my hike or, or work out or go to the gym. And then I have enough left to sip on throughout the day. And you see the blades of the blender have done most of the digestion for you, breaking down all that fiber. So whatever you make in a blender, it gets easily absorbed into your body that's a great thing to have about an hour before an event or just to sip on throughout the day, little cups of it, glasses of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
And um, we've been doing that during this holiday season with bone broth. That's what we're doing right now for the morning, and then we kind of move on, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, just helps exactly. our digestion. Um, a lot of people in your Whose next bones point. Bones? Did you take? <laughs> What's that? A chicken. No. <laughs> Whose bones? <laughs> Whose bones? <laughs> boil yeah. my bones. They weren't happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, but a lot of people hang out. Like when they're, if they're at a party, uh, they hang out near their food, and that's an issue too, isn't it? Yeah, I know. You know, so many parties have a big buffet, or they have lots of hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres on the table. And obviously this is common sense. And I'm not telling anyone not to eat their favorite foods during the holidays, but all of these tips... Uh, will help you so you'll arrive at January 1st not overwhelmed with extra weight and depression. And they're tips that work all year as well. But if you put a little distance between you and the food, that creates an, a necessary obstacle between you and the calories. And besides, you'll have to walk more to go back and forth between the food and where you're hanging out, and this will burn extra calories. Yeah, it's funny how we have to do all these little psychological hacks, isn't it? Isn't it <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And standing, <laughs> you burn more calories than in sitting. So if you're at one of these parties and some people are standing, you might not want to be the only one standing. But <laughs> right. it's good to stand, you know. And and also, so many people eat just to be social. Mm-hmm. And you, you sort of want to avoid that. But if you're a shy person and you're at this office or holiday party and everyone's carrying a drink and a plate of food, you know, you at most places will serve healthy options. Mm-hmm. So you can always nibble on a, cal- uh, a celery stick or sip on something low calorie, you know, if you need to. But again, it goes back to don't arrive famished because you'll want to just stand by the food and keep nibbling. Right. And when we do, when we're on automatic pilot, and this happens so often at sporting events at movies in front of the tv you know we just eat and eat and before you know it where'd the whole pie go or where'd that large bag of popcorn go Mm -hmm. it's all gone so it's it's about mindful eating and i find that when you can breathe deeply because we're often stressed out and then we convert to shallow breathing but when you take long slow deep breaths in and out, and you're aware of everything you're eating, and you taste it, and you chew it well, like your dad does, Mm -hmm. and then swallow it, and then, you know, wait, don't don't just shove food in because there's nothing in your mouth right now, more mindful eating, you'll find that you'll enjoy the food and the holidays much more. Yeah, and I think that a lot of this has to do with controlling your environment, because a lot of these tips and things are these, like we said, psychological hacks to sort of overcome our subconscious programming when it comes to food. But, um, you know, the ability to control the environment we're in when we're eating is the most important thing. And a lot of times, like we're saying in this particular instance, people are going to holiday parties. And so when you're at a party, you're going to be eating quickly, probably, unless you're aware of these things, but most people are going to be eating quickly. They're going to be talking while they're eating. And before they know it, they're going to already have eaten way more than they would have. So if you're able to control the environment as much as possible, so that means eating before you go. And when you eat and you, you know, somewhere, if you're at your home and you eat before you go, at least you can control Hmm. the environment you're putting in in your home. Right. Yeah. A little bit more. Right. And and by the way, just as our moms and grandmothers taught us, don't talk with food in your mouth. People (laughs) still do that. Nobody likes to see you chewing the food in your mouth (laughs) <laughs> and it's very dangerous because you can easily swallow the food down the wrong pipe. True. And you can die that way. Mm. Um, so it's just important to chew the food and then carry on the conversation. Yes. There's a uh, really funny movie that we were watching recently called Wedding Crashers. And <laughs> it's co- it's a complete I love that. <laughs> opposite of everything you're saying because Vince Vaughn's character is at all these weddings and he's just shoving all this food in his mouth and talking with his mouth open. There's crumbles coming out everywhere. It's <laughs> right. so unattractive. It's just I know. hilarious. <laughs> I know. I know. It sprays out all over. Yeah. Speaking of food choices, um, uh, at, at SusanSmithJones.com, right there on the home page, in my photo it says December newsletter. I see it. So, yeah, so you've got to click there, and at the top of the newsletter... 
I've posted this, and many people probably have seen it, but it's worth seeing a few times. You'll probably laugh so hard you'll cry, <laughs> but it's about a two-and-a-half-minute video of a, of a lady singing, making up her own words about to a, to a Christmas melody. Someone's playing the piano about everyone's different food choices, that it's hard <laughs> to have a party now because... You know, everyone has different ways of eating, and then the host of the party can hardly deal with that. But it's very, very funny. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. So that's right at the top of my December newsletter. That is awesome. I'm going to so, catch that at the break. Yeah, we'll catch that. That's so funny. Yeah, it's everyone, true, though. Everyone does have very particular diets. And at least, you know, it's it's cool because it's bringing some awareness that people are starting to realize gluten-free. And even if it's the most simple things... Um, at least there are different ways of eating and it's becoming more sort of mainstream and accepted. And so it's not so fringe anymore when you have a, a certain person who's avoiding sugar or gluten or things like that. It's becoming so much more Dairy, acceptable, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. And, and there are actually some very uh, nutritious, great foods to eat this time of year, like pumpkin and cranberries, apples, sweet potatoes, pomegranates, what else? Pecans, walnuts, even dark chocolate, and even cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Mm, yeah. And, and, you know, good fall detox foods, even though fall is almost over, but pumpkin, Asian pears, uh, raw pistachios, Brussels sprouts, mustard greens. They're all um, in our stores everywhere, and they're very good detox. What is it foods. about? Processed carbohydrates. You know, I was thinking back to that wedding crasher scene where he's eating all these cakes and things like that. What What is it about processed carbs that is so addicting to people, do you think? You know, this really has to do with fiber. Fiber is your secret weapon, you know, to help lose weight, to keep it off, and to enjoy the holidays. And it's a huge player in the weight loss field. When you consume, because when you process food, you take away lots of the fiber, and then you you take away lots of the nutrients, and you're left with very little except calories. They're called empty calorie foods. So you always want to consume as many high fiber foods as possible before attacking other food. You know, for example, mo most of these parties and family gatherings will have raw veggies. You know, and they contain sufficient bulk to fill you to some degree before you turn to the high sugar, low fiber junk that converts right away to fat. Let's say you go to an Italian restaurant. Well, they always put the bread and butter right on the table. Mm. And I would ask them, because you don't need to be tempted to take that away. Right. And before you have your big pizza or pasta, start with maybe vegetable soup or a salad. And it's, you know, I heard you talk about the raw food. I'm a big believer in eating as much raw food as possible. And whatever you're eating, if it's all cooked food, you at least want to start with something raw. It makes it so much easier for your digestive system. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I believe There's that. There's something called leukocytosis. Long, long story short, you increase the number of white blood cells when your meal, because your body thinks you're taking in all these foreign things when it's all cooked mm. so you know when i've when i've ever gone out to eat and i don't know maybe it's already a pre-planned menu and it's all cooked i will just say can you bring me a few slices of carrots or celery or tomatoes or yeah. whatever it is right. um, i just got back from a media tour all around the uk i was in ireland scotland wales and england and they eat differently than I do. Oh, I bet. You know, and they eat, you know, the people I was with, at least, to do all this media work, they ate mainly cooked food. Mm -hmm. So everywhere I went, I did make sure I asked for just something raw to have before I started in on anything cooked. Yeah, there's, um, that leukocytosis is pretty interesting. There's a... Uh some studies that were going around saying that, um, you know, 50% of your plate should be, if you have cooked food, should be raw so that uh, you can prevent the white blood cells. And I even heard someone Absolutely. talking about um, where if you're doing like a tea, if you heat the water up above, I think it's like a 180 degrees or something like that or 170, if it goes over a certain point, 
uh, your body starts to produce white blood cells as if there's an immune system response. Uh, I've obviously never tested that out, but I just found that to be interesting. And, and another reason you don't want to drink lots of really hot beverages is they're now finding that, that it really contributes to cancer of the throat and esophagus. Really? And, and by the way, uh, above my photo on my home page, it says articles. And I just posted this last week. You two and, and everyone listening, you'd like this. It's an article I titled The Skinny on Raw Foods and How They Heal the Body. And it's, it, it's got lots of beautiful photos. But I talk all about the different studies and even some cons to, to always eating raw like uh, dental issues and maybe, because and, usually it's raw vegan, maybe not getting enough B12, but that's all mm-hmm. in the article. You can read that. What was, what was the information that you were talking about with the, uh, the drinking of hot beverages? That's pretty interesting, and, and the throat cancers. Yeah, it's, in fact, my, my dentist taught me about this about a year ago, and I've done a little research that w- when you, co- like lots of people drink really hot coffee, and, and even hot teas, they mm-hmm. do that over in England. And now they're seeing a, a huge increase in cancer of the throat because that hot, oh, over time, all that hot liquid can kill the cells and, and actually contribute to cancer. That doesn't mean you have to stop drinking your delicious tea. I love tea, but, you know, I, I know people there will drink scalding hot tea when I was just over in the UK and mm. I always waited till mine cooled down a little bit. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how people can even do that, really. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that would be hot very... going down your throat seems miserable. I know. Ugh. But he, now here's, gosh, two more tips I just thought of. You always want to have warm to hot, but I, and I don't mean scalding hot, that water liquid first thing in the morning. You don't want cold liquid because it's got to warm up before it moves from your stomach through the rest of your digestive system. And when in the morning on an empty stomach when you've had nothing to eat overnight, that nice warm to hot water, especially with a lemon in it, and I use my ginger, turmeric, and burdock roots, um, it goes right into your system and get a, gets absorbed into your body. Mm. Yeah, that, the and, and all these things we're talking about today, you really lose willpower. If and, and this is, I know it. This is common sense, but people forget. You've got to get enough sleep, and you've got to exercise first. Sleep. If you're chronically in sleep debt, and I mean you're not getting a solid seven to eight hours a night, Mm -hmm. and I don't mean maybe once or twice a month you don't get enough sleep, but I mean a chronic sleep debt condition, first of all, it creates more cortisol in your body. That's one of the stress hormones which causes you to gain weight and get depressed. But too little sleep now, they've found, makes you hungry. For example... If you know a big holiday meal's coming up, make sure the night before you get good sleep because too little sleep makes you hungry, especially for calorie-dense foods, mm. foods that aren't good for you, and primes your body to hold on to all of the calories you eat. And it also boosts your insulin levels, and that increases the risk of heart disease and diabetes. So just make sure you get enough sleep because without it, you have little control over what you're eating. You just lose all willpower. Mm. And exercise, you know, of course you want to do something every day physically. If you can't get out, you're working at your desk all day and night, you could still do some things in your home. I always have a few dumbbells, and, uh, and I'm not talking about people around <laughs> you, but I'm talking about <laughs> equipment. You know, some, or maybe you step in place. Uh, maybe you have a treadmill. It's always good to have one piece of aerobic equipment at home because that exercise, especially the day of a big event, will will um, supercharge your metabolism, which means throughout the day, the evening, even when you're sleeping, you'll be burning more calories than if you didn't exercise. And on the day of a big meal, that's a good thing to do. Maybe maybe the next time we're together, since it will be the beginning of the year, let's really delve into weight loss. And every 
tip people need to know to lose the weight and keep it off. I love that. We're going to take a little break right now, but this is uh, really good stuff. And when we come back, it would be interesting to talk a little bit about some superfoods or nutrients that we can uh, take to prevent overeating, but then also uh, the alcohol thing, too, I think would be cool. That's a big holiday issue. Let's get to that. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. All right, we're with Susan Smith-Jones and her website, susansmithjones.com, and we'll be right back right after this. Kate and I have had our sauna for about a year now, I'd say, uh, when we first got it from Phil Wilson, and it's an incredible machine. We use ours about every single day. Kate sits in about 20 minutes, and I sit in there about for a half hour, usually watch a documentary, and it's extremely relaxing. It's really, really an incredible machine. And if you go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash sauna, you can learn all about it. We did an entire hour interview with Phil Wilson. You can check that out. You can look at the pictures of us with it. You can watch videos on that page. Uh, It helps you to sleep really, really well. You can lose a lot of weight with it. You can burn, I think, around 600 calories in about 20 minutes or so. It improves your skin, increases circulation all over the body, and circulation is critical for your health. Uh, You can prevent and reverse diseases with it. If you have a cold or flu, it's incredible. It heats you down to the core. It heats four to six inches inside your body, so it's really incredible. And a lot of people use it for cancer as well. So if you have any kind of incurable, quote, disease, you can use it for that. And Dr. Shade is the uh, foremost authority on detoxification. And listen to what he says about it. How do I detoxify from plastics? I mean, you guys are using a sauna. And what does a sauna do for us? A sauna is great, but it's moving a number of different toxins. Remember, we talked about the mice that if you put PCBs in there, then that made the mercury all that much worse. And Sweating moves out a lot of plastics, volatiles, fat-based toxins. It's really good at moving those out, sweating those out. So that's how you're getting those out. And those are contributing to this synergistic soup inside the body. And so that's why they're good is they're taking out a, a bunch of the different things in the soup. And Daniel Vitalis, one of our favorite guests. What do you have to say about the sauna? When you go into the sauna, like a far infrared sauna like you discussed, your body goes into a deep relaxation mode and your sympathetic nervous system shuts down and your parasympathetic nervous system turns on and when that's active that's the nervous system part of your nervous system that's active when you meditate that becomes active and your detoxification pathways open up wide why is this important it's important because when you go running and you sweat you're not necessarily eliminating very much toxicity from your body Hmm. But when you sweat in the sauna, you eliminate a lot of toxicity from your body. So sweating in a relaxed state is how we eliminate. The other thing is that what's wonderful about the the sauna is that it puts you in a parasympathetic nervous system response like as if you were meditating. So it's almost a hack. It's like a trick to get yourself into a meditative, relaxed state to decompress stress, to reverse the effects of stress, and to get your body eliminating deep, deep toxicity that's stored in your body fat because it can come out in the oils of your skin. So I think you know sauna is one of the most crucial detoxification, really health practices that we could take on, especially in this era of heavy toxicity, uh, particularly fat-soluble toxins. This sauna is really, really great. They offer payment plans because if you buy it through PayPal, It's 100% secure. You don't even need a PayPal account. I think you could do a payment plan through PayPal. It's got low EMF electromagnetic fields coming off of it. It's portable, so that means you don't have to knock down a wall in your house. You can just move it from room to room. It sets up in about two to five minutes. It's super easy to clean. All you got to do is wipe it down when you're done, wipe the neck down, and it produces energy and heat inside very, very evenly throughout the whole machine. All you have to do is sit in there for about 15 minutes a day. And the great thing I like about it, too, is it requires zero preheating. So you turn it on and you're starting to get warm. You're starting to detoxify with that far infrared light almost immediately. So it's really great. It comes with a one-year warranty. It's about $990 plus $25 shipping. And that's really, really a good deal because if you look at most of the regular saunas out there, they are in the two to $4,000 range. So this is really, really a good deal. So check it out, extremehealthradio.com forward slash sauna. All free shows, all the time on Extreme Health Radio. 
opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. Join our community today. Sign up to our email list and instantly get our free gift to you, along with loads of inspirational content and cutting-edge tips to help change your life. At ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash subscribe. You know, Kate, yesterday, I didn't do the sauna or the rebounder. You know what? And I, I wish I had of. I didn't either. I missed both of them. I know. <laughs> I know why, though. Why is that? Because we did Christmas with your parents last night, and that took the whole day of preparing, That's shopping, right. and cooking, and it's okay. That's okay. I miss them, though. I do. I miss them. I know. I miss them when I don't do them. my faves. Well, today's a new day, right? Right. Today's it's a, a new, new moment. So we're with Susan Smith-Jones, PhD, SusanSmithJones.com. If you want to check out her website, lots of really great information there. All of her books are there and all kinds of really great stuff. And Susan, I wanted to ask you, do you do any signed copies of your books and how do people get those? I want to mention something about saunas. I've told you this before. I wish we lived on the same block because we're like kindred spirits Aww. in everything that we do. I love it. And, and, and believe. Um, right on my home page at susansmithjones.com, if you scroll halfway down, you'll see that I, I have all my latest books. And, and when you get a trio, like I know, uh, Kate, you love my Walking on Air, the yes. 30 Day Inside and Out Rejuvenation Makeover, and. The Joy Factor, 10 Sacred Practices for Radiant Health. Love it. And then the third one is my full-color, beautiful cookbook. I'm, I'm a culinary instructor, and it was published by Hay House. But when you get those three, and there are two other options of three different ones, you get my entire series of natural remedy, full-color, little booklet CD combos combined and everyone's autographed and sent wherever you want them sent. You'd get them by Christmas, hmm. um, or they're perfect to start out the new year. So that's on the lower half of the home page of my website. That's cool. And you guys didn't know this, and I didn't know that you were going to be talking about saunas, but I've been into taking saunas for 25 years, and just yesterday... Um, my, I think my if you go to blog, the first blog is all about 20 tips to get through the holidays without any depression, fatigue, or weight gain. And the second blog is all about water because you want to drink good amounts of water, especially when you're eating all this rich food and probably too many calories because it will help flush the toxins out of your body. And my third blog is on heat therapy. Hmm. Uh, the healing power of sweating, and it's all about how taking saunas benefit your body because I, that's one of the three most important components of my healthy living program because you want to profusely sweat several times a week. I love it. And you also don't want to, it's, it's best from what I understand, uh, to sweat without producing the lactic acid from exercise, just sit, sitting and sweating, right? Well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. But, uh, but it's still good depending on, you know, you can still exercise and get into a sauna. But I'll tell you the very best time to take a sauna. Most people don't know this. See, when you, go, when you sleep at night, the role of sleep is to renew, rebuild, and repair your body. So if you eat too close to bedtime, instead of renewing, rebuilding, and repairing, your body will be metabolizing, digesting, absorbing, and eliminating food. Now, um, if, you, if you 90 minutes to two hours before bedtime, mm-hmm. if you take a sauna then, because that heats up the core of your body, like a shower isn't long enough to heat the core up of your body. Right. But if you take a sauna, the, then w- that will increase the melatonin in your body because the... The act of your body going from a heated up core from taking a sauna to cooling down really increases melatonin, the hormone that helps you sleep like a baby. Now, this is a reason it's good to give babies baths before they go to bed at night. And if any of you have problems sleeping, first of all, don't eat too close to bedtime, but if you can, 
if you have a sauna or a jacuzzi, and you can do that about 90 minutes before bedtime, you will love how you sleep. Mm. And here's one other just quick thing about how to sleep like a baby. You want to avoid nighttime calls and turn off your cell phone before you go to bed Mm -hmm. because a study at the University of Zurich found that exposing people to the electromagnetic fields from cell phones altered their brain waves during sleep, resulting in sleep disturbances. Hmm. Wow. That's not surprising. Yeah, not surprising. Not surprising at all. You know what's really helped me a lot um, is is wearing these blue blue blocker glasses. Have you ever tried those? The oh. ones that prevent glare. Yeah, well, they're the ones that prevent the blue light from hitting your eyes. They're pretty fascinating things. Yeah. Now, how, how I haven't. Tell me, how, how do you see differently out of them? Well, you don't really see any different, but it um, it, it they're sort of these orange glasses, and I got them off Amazon and. Uh, and what they do is they block out the blue spectrum of the computer screens or even the lights in our homes um, have a certain amount of blue light that come out of them. Oh, interesting. And when your body, apparently, so this is what they say, and we've done a whole show with a guy on this, but apparently if your body, even your skin at night, but if your eyes, if that the blue light hits your eyes, it tells your body to... Uh, not produce melatonin, and so it, it's sort of like the blue sky in the daytime. It your body thinks it's it's daytime, so it doesn't produce the melatonin. And for me, that seems right. to help a lot. It's pretty pretty great. Right. Uh, so, are you sleeping better, or I'm what sleeping. benefits have you found? I've noticed that I used to take. I used to be. I would go to sleep, and it would take me. Even though I, I exercise a lot, it would normally take me about a half an hour to fall asleep, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night. And now, after wearing these blue glasses, blue blue blocker style glasses, I fall asleep within five minutes, and um, I don't really. Sometimes I get up in the middle of the night, but it's it's way less than I used to. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's it's a combination of things. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, but, and without a doubt, heating up your body before bedtime, and then also not eating too close to bedtime. And then, of course, not falling asleep to the TV. Uh, Well, Mm -hmm. here's another big thing, too. Mm -hmm. One day we'll do a whole show on sleep. But when if you get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, don't flip the light all the way on because it shuts down completely your melatonin production. So if you if you don't want to stub your toe, create you know a little faint nightlight to guide you to the bathroom, and uh, but don't turn on a bright light. Yeah, that's a huge thing. I used to do that too, and now we have a little nightlight in the bathroom, and I cover it up even with a little yeah, towel. Yeah, sometimes that even seems too bright. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like any light to hit my eyes when I if I do get up, and um, I think yeah. that seems to help too. You know, I have one of those little plug-in nightlights that's like an angel. It's oh. a little angel with wings where, you know, I'm looking... I'm looking at one right here in my office that I got as a gift, another one. And I love that because I keep that on at night and I get up and, and there's a little angel in the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. A little psychological thing. I love it. So Probably I wanted... too much information for people to <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I wanted to ask you, too, are there superfoods? Like we, we eat goji berries and cacao and we Spirulina. eat maca and these types of things. Spirulina, I love that. Are there um, are there any foods that would be particularly good for causing us to not overeat? Do you think? Yeah, well, there are two I love. One one are the this food is chia seeds, oh. and you know you can you know all those drinks you can get at health food stores that where the, they put the chia seeds in and they swell up. Mm-hmm. And if you make a drink, uh, let's just you can take water or tea or juice. Put in a tablespoon of chia seeds, and and it takes about 20 minutes or so, maybe sometimes 30. I stir it a few times for them to swell up. And if you drink that down, it really fills up your stomach, and it does help prevent overeating. Mm. Another one is, is that we've talked about it before, it's that spirulina that comes from Hawaii. Mm. And I've written about this in my December newsletter uh, but I did that. I told you about this before. I did a clinical study uh, the year the, uh, about um, 
gosh, a year and a half ago now, mm-hmm. with a hundred, with just over a hundred people for three months. And they took three grams or 3,000 milligrams of Hawaiian spirulina a day. It didn't matter if it was in tablet or powder form, but that's just what they added to their diet. And everybody in the study lost one to three pounds weekly just by adding this in the diet, probably because it ha- it's so rich, it's nature's most nutrient-rich food on planet Earth, over 100 nutrients in it, all natural. But here's a good positive side to this as well, another positive uh, point, is everybody in the study told me that when they took this 30 to 60 minutes before a meal, And it didn't matter if it was tablet or powder form. I put it in my smoothie, so I'll drink it. Mm -hmm. Um, They they found that they didn't eat as much, and it also um, reduced their their refined carb cravings. Mm. And and also, in my uh, December newsletter, you'll see how every 10 days I make a facial mask with superfoods, like uh, I mash up avocado and ripe banana and I put in some spirulina powder. I've got the recipes in my December newsletter, and I put that on a clean face, let it rest on my skin for about 20 minutes. It goes on the face, my neck, the back of my hands, and the decollete area, and then I wash it off after 20 minutes, and your skin is just glowing. Oh, and so where can we get the recipe for that? You said it's in your newsletter? Oh, they're, they're all go right to my December newsletter. They're one of the many things that are in my December newsletter. In fact, at the top of the newsletter, below that little two-and-a-half-minute song I told you about, mm-hmm. I'm giving away free a beautiful full-color recipe book with photos, and every recipe has a positive affirmation. It's called Conscious Cuisine, and it's written by the chef at at Unity Village at the inn there. There's a famous chef, and then he asked me to collaborate with him to talk about some of the benefits of the foods he used in his recipes. And there are lots of recipes you're going to want to use during the holidays. So if you go to the December newsletter and... Right there at the very, I have an appetizer section up above, and it says, uh, see below to get a, a copy of, free of uh, Conscious Cuisine. Wow. It's a beautiful recipe book with delicious recipes. Now, so cool. I'm a vegan, and they're not all vegan. There are some animal products, um, but there's a photo of the recipes, and then I love positive affirmations with each recipe. That's really cool because that's sort of bringing that consciousness that you were talking about earlier uh, when you're eating, but that's putting that that's sort right. of into the time when you're preparing the food too, which is cool. Right. I love that. I love that. Man, there's information overload. I love this. I'm looking at the funny dog doing a, a meditation pose. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cute. You have some great photos in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Amazing. And, but besides... You know, we, we'll do another show one day on meditation. I've, I've taught it for almost 35 years. It's the hub of the wheel for me. Every mm. morning before anybody listening is even awake, I always begin my day with meditation. You know, I, I like the calmness, the peacefulness, uh, the empowerment it brings. It lowers cholesterol. Uh, it, it boosts your immunity. And if that's not enough, studies show that those people that meditate on a regular basis look and are physiologically 12 to 15 years younger than people of of the same age that do not meditate. Huh. So I've got lots of information, so much information in that December newsletter on, you know, every health topic you can imagine and then where and then it points you to where to go to my website if you want more detailed info. That's so great. Awesome. That's so awesome. And uh, before we go, I wanted to ask you a little bit about this um, people with hangovers because that's a big uh, a big deal for people. Um, what's going on with hangovers when when someone drinks too much? What's going on there in their bodies? Well, it's interesting because if you know if you watch some commercials on TV, they give you the impression that alcohol does nothing but make you happy, young, and attractive. I know, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> but um, but the truth is definitely more sobering. And alcohol can act as a depressant. It can lead to aggressive behavior. 
and it can have you waking with that painful hangover, which can include sensitivity to light and noise and a throbbing headache, an upset stomach, achy muscles, lots of nausea. And, you know, there, there are lots of ways to prevent and heal a, a hangover naturally. And I know I can just touch on a couple now, but all of these um, 20 natural remedy tips are right in my December newsletter. But you obviously, this is, everyone knows this, you don't ever drink on an empty stomach or a dehydrated body because mm. drinking alcohol is very dehydrating. And remember, your brain, um, your brain is mostly water, and you need to water your brain before, both before and after too much drinking because when, you're, when your brain gets dehydrated, that's one of the causes of those nasty headaches. Mm. Now, because alcohol creates lots of acidity in your body, s sweating in a sauna is a great way to get rid of the extra acidity and the alcoholic toxic residues. Mm -hmm. Drinking alkaline water will help alkalize your body because drinking alcohol makes your body very acid. Squeezing a little lemon, like I mentioned, into water both before before you drink, after you drink, and before bedtime in the next morning will help take it away. Activated charcoal is a not, not the charcoal you put on a barbecue, but the kind you can ingest mm -hmm. is a centuries old home remedy for quick relief for gas, nausea, acid indigestion and all of those intestinal disorders that accompany a hangover. Mm. I even have advice in, in this article you'll get in my December newsletter on a great herb that you can take to help cut down and, and get rid of cravings for alcohol for people that want to really drink less or stop drinking. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I, I have many more, but one more quick one is... If you drink at all, it's really important to always take milk thistle. It's called. It's an herb. Um, it, it, it's it's very healing to the liver, and you not only want to help protect that sensitive organ, but the milk thistle also helps to process the alcohol and move it out of your system. So you can pop two milk thistle capsules. Uh, you get at your health food store, or 30 drops of the liquid extract 30 minutes before you start drinking and two more after you're finished drinking. If anybody listening drinks alcohol, you should always take milk thistle every day. Now, I take it daily. I don't drink alcohol at all, but I'm still a fun person, by the way. <laughs> but... Um, uh, but I take it just because it always keeps the liver cleansed and detoxified, and that's yeah. a good thing. What do you think about taking, doesn't drinking excessive amounts of alcohol or when someone's hungover, isn't that an indication of, of uh, the alcohol stripping their body of, of B vitamins? Oh, my gosh, B the B complex. The B complex? Yeah, that will definitely even make a, a hangover worse. You've got to include extra B complex in your nutritional arsenal because when you drink lots of alcohol and even when you're under extra stress, it's a water, B vitamins are water soluble like C, uh -huh. um, it just reduces them in your body and, and, and you overtax your body. In, and whether it's hard liquor or beer or wine, all of these cause more stress on your body. Um, so, uh, you know, I would say take an extra B-complex capsule, whatever it is you have, uh, on days that you're drinking without a doubt. That's interesting. Yeah, I've heard and people... in my d December newsletter, I have a great smoothie to make that helps with, um, with hangovers. Because monkeys, by the way, are much wiser than maybe we think. And their favorite food is banana, and this is a cure for almost anything that ails you, and it's true for hangovers. So the morning after, make a smoothie in your blender. Maybe you hold your ears when the blender is turned on if you oh. have a hangover. Know, and then use a combination of, you know, two ripe bananas, your favorite liquid base, mm -hmm. and I would use peppermint tea because peppermint really 
um, calms the stomach and calms the nerves, improves digestion, all which go haywire after you drink too much. Mm. And a handful of strawberries or blueberries, they're great for a hangover. So is a dash of cinnamon, three to four leaves of romaine lettuce, and maybe a handful of kale or baby leaf or baby leaf spinach. And I don't use sweetener, but you know, and, but for a sweetener, rather than sugar or honey or even stevia or agave, take a couple medjool dates, take the pit out, put them in. You know, but 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 to me, bananas are sweet enough. You you really want to cut down on the sugar mm-hmm. you consume. But that's a great um, say goodbye to hangover smoothie. Yeah, because it's a lot. It's got a lot of alkalinizing um, elements yes. in there, right? With the greens yes. and things. And um, yeah, and speaking of that, you want to reduce the alkalinity. I mean, you want to increase the alkalinity in your body always, but especially when you're drinking. So. If you can go buy a freshly made green juice that might have spinach, celery, romaine, parsley, maybe a little carrot or apple for sweetener. Uh I always put in fresh ginger and lemon. Um, Or if you have a juicer at home, that's a good thing. Mm. But if you don't, if you think the next day you might not be feeling well, you know, make the make the juice the night before (laughs) before you start (laughs) drinking. So at least you'll have it. I love that. It's so funny that people would, you know, I'm, there's all kinds of people out there, but it's just funny that you would be aware enough to make something like an alkalinizing I know, green smoothie. To plan and then, for and then get drunk yeah. and have a hangover. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I know. Oh. That's so funny. There's, um, I, I've also heard people using melons and things for the B vitamins. I'm sure those are pretty good too. Yeah. And the reason you're saying melon? Yeah. Like, uh, and the reason that's cantaloupe. good is they're the highest water content food on, on the earth. Mm. And they're about 95 to 97% water. And remember, the, that all the drinking is really dehydrating your body and your brain. So the melon will, is great for um, organically hydrating your body back up. Is it true that most of the uh, nutrients in melons are near the rind? Yeah, that's true. Is that true? And that's why I often will buy... I mean, I, tr- I try to buy organic whenever possible, but then when I make a juice, I, I-, I put the rind all the way, th- you know, through my juicer. Uh-huh. Yeah, and by we, the way, you mentioned turmeric before. Mm-hmm. Now, turmeric is also a wonderful remedy for hangovers. That's why it's good to always have turmeric on hand, whether it's in the root form powder or a liquid extract. Because it helps to mop up that acid residue of the alcohol. It helps prevent nausea. Um, It relieves it. It detoxifies the liver and can even put you in a better mood. So um, it doesn't matter what form you take it in. You can even sprinkle it as a spice on beans or pasta casseroles or, or other foods. I love it. I love it. Well, next time I next time I go get drunk, I'm going to go do all this. <laughs> I can't yeah. see that happening. No, nah, I don't drink at all. You don't drink at all. But uh, this is great stuff for people, though. I think it's really helpful. Especially this time of year. Yeah. Well, thank right. you, Susan, for being on the thank show today you. and sharing all these awesome Yo, tips. Oh, you're so welcome. And wait, one more thing. Yeah. Magnesium. magnesium. You want to mate with magnesium. <laughs> and doctors believe that hangover symptoms are a result of low magnesium levels. And this mineral, we know, it keeps your heart healthy and your nerves and your muscle cells in good shape. But they think that magnesium depletion can be the reason behind excessive fatigue, lethargy, and loss of appetite. And also the cause of ha- of serious hangovers, and some foods that you can eat that have magnesium in them would be and remember to chew well, um, pumpkin seeds, Brazil nuts, um, spinach, quinoa, almonds, cashews, oat bran, oh artichokes, I love mm. um, beet greens. They have potassium, <clears throat> excuse me, and magnesium. Soy milk, tofu brown rice, halibut, and beans. Those are all rich in magnesium. So on a day of drinking, I would say, you know, besides the milk thistle and lots of water and lemon, all the things, and the B vitamins, I would take some extra magnesium. 
You know, speaking of magnesium, I tr- I'm trying to turn everybody I know onto this. Have you ever been up in your area? There's a place called the Float Lab, and we've been doing um, the sensory deprivation tank. And have you heard of those? Well, gosh, they've been around for about 20 years, yes. but I haven't heard of the Float Lab. Where is it? Yeah, I think that's somewhere. I think it's, it's Venice. In Venice or Santa Monica. In Venice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mean and the it's, isolation tank where you go in and you just... Yeah, and it's filled Chill with. Out or, it, or you, yeah, it's filled with uh, about a foot of water, and in that foot of water, there's a big tank, and they've got about 800 pounds of magnesium salt in the in the water, so you soak it all up through your skin. That's it's amazing. A, it's incredible. 800 pounds. Yep. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's about uh, three times more buoyant than the Dead Sea. Yeah. You. Fl- how how long do they let you stay in? It's usually a minimum for 90 minutes. And they're cheap. They're only about 40 bucks or something. 40, 50 now, bucks. Now, I'm curious. Do they clean it out for each person? They do. They the, This guy that does the one up where you're located at is the sort of pioneer of this whole uh, movement recently. Because like you said, they've been around forever. But this guy, is a, he's like a wizard, some sort of mad scientist. And he's got... This four stage process of uh, UV light and ozone and all the stuff to clean out the water after each use. It's unbelievable. It's okay. Pretty amazing. Wow. Yeah, you, I'm going to check that out. Yeah. It's called the, I think it might be the floatlab.com, but because um, when you were talking about magnesium, your skin, when we lay in those things, I'm assuming our skin is going to be soaking up that magnesium, right? Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. It will absorb. Yeah. It's, I mean, if you put, a garlic. Do this test. It's really fun. <laughs> One of you do it, not both of you. All right? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and you uh, you put take a garlic clove, and, and j- that that way you can smell it on the other person better. And just put it between your big and next toe over your toes. Uh huh. And you'll you'll see within about five minutes you can pretty much smell it on your breath. It gets absorbed. Ooh. Wow! I'm gonna try that. Just one clove, and just for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. And now, some people, it might take a little bit longer. But, you know, and rub it in that area and wash your hands. And then, you know, and then Kate, if, if he does it, then you do a little breath test uh-huh. <laughs> a few minutes later. Oh, how funny. I'm totally going to try I've that. heard about that. And that's just showing that our skin is such a Absorb- absorbable yes, organ. Yes, yes. Mm. Isn't that fast? And I have information in my December newsletter how, on, on how important it is. And this is crucial because January we all want to detox yep. to do dry skin brushing often. Mm, mm. Yeah, we, we do that. You know what's funny is we have that in our bathroom and it's one of those things that it's like the, the most beneficial things for you sometimes are things that are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. And right, so I right. forget to do that, but it's such a beneficial thing, right. isn't it? And, and the key is to do it before you shower or bathe. Um, to to get all the dry, dead skin cells off. And by the way, you two don't want to share a dry skin brush. You should each have your own. Oh, okay. I've heard this. We do, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah that is important for people to know. Not that either of you have cooties or anything, <laughs> but, you know, it's just like a toothbrush. You yeah. have your own. Okay. Yeah. Good for people to know. Yeah, it's like a toothbrush, a big toothbrush for your skin. It is. It totally is. Now, you don't do the skin brush on your face, do you? Well, not with that brush. It's too strong. But like, like all the women listening know, that you, that you, it's important to exfoliate the, the skin on your face to help the beautiful skin cells overturn quicker and you have more youthful, glowing skin. Mm-hmm. And we often have little products that exfoliate our skin so um, they make little brushes for the face and i actually use one of those you know those clarisonic, clarisonic. i was going to yeah, ask you, you turn on. what is your opinion uh, in your opinion are those things pretty pretty good yeah they're great they are, okay. they're great but again you should not share it with someone you should have your own okay his and her. His, His and, and hers. hers. What is the Clarisonic? What is I've that? wanted one of those. Those little motorized sluffers. Oh, they're great. They they're great with skin. the right little, you know, the good, the best kind of uh, cleanser to use with it. And, and it really does a good job. It's just a thing that spins around so quickly that, um, you know, I forget how many times a, a second in a minute and it cleans your face better than your hand in a washcloth could ever do. And for women that wear any makeup at all, 
you know, that always gets clogged in pores. Right. Would that be something you would do every day, do you think? Yeah, it's good to do every day. Seems like it would be good to do also before you did that that skin mask you were talking Ooh, about. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I always do that. And I always keep my Clarisonic right in the shower, so it's always there ready to use. What is the cleanser you use with that, Susan? Oh, gosh. I use uh, three or four different ones. Okay. The one I love a lot is from Philosophy. It's called Purity. Nice. Purity made simple, and it's just... I mean, you can use it for shampoo. I don't, and it's so it, it is so pure, and I, and it smells great. And I've used that for about fifteen years. Oh, good to know, because you look fabulous. You're doing something right. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, you do. You know, it's funny. Um, you, just doing what you're doing on a regular basis, like you said, you're doing the sauna for twenty seven years. It's interesting how the longer you do things, this sort of becomes an exponential thing where. Uh, it's sort of like investing the compound interest. Um, you start reaping the benefits, uh, at, you know, later on, and having all of these disciplines and health practices. Like, look at the shape you're in, and it's just incredible. Yeah, gosh, all of this really makes a positive difference. Now, it's not that I don't, on occasion, splurge, and I do. Mm-hmm. You know, I might, I might go to. Uh, California Pizza Kitchen, mm-hmm. yeah. and I might get a pizza with whole grain bread, but without cheese. Mm-hmm. You know, and I might have, and and I I do teach people how to cook all the time. Lots of celebrities you would know, and and regular folks, and mm-hmm. how to make their meals healthier. And I have to taste things every now and then just to make sure it's okay. And do I need more seasoning? Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but so it's not about being a fanatic like many people I know in this area mm-hmm. of Santa Monica Brentwood are. And I think sometimes watching every bite you eat, the perfect combination, it can be more stressful than occasionally having something that's not great for you. And I, I am not recommending that anyone give up all their favorite foods during the holidays. But remember, it is okay to taste things without finishing them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, especially if you're not famished, it's okay to have a delicious piece of pie and maybe two pieces of pie one Mm -hmm. night. But you just make sure that you get sleep and you exercise and you get right back on track and you maybe eat a little bit more of a cleansing diet the next day. Mm -hmm. Because people fall into that bad trap of, over the holidays, and I bet many people listening are in that trap right now where they think I've already gone to five holiday parties, I've eaten way too much, oh man, Mm -hmm. Christmas is coming, Hanukkah's coming, Mm -hmm. I know I'll overeat, I might as well just splurge like crazy because I'll start fresh in January. You, You want to enjoy what you eat, don't feel guilty, but stay on track. You know, all the little tips we gave today... And again, that my first, second, and third blogs and the December newsletter, they're all right there. You know, little things you can do about living and eating and being more mindful this holiday season. Mm. I love that. I wow. mean, that, that's what it's all about, just staying on track. And, you know, you can veer off a little bit, but it's, it's what you do the majority of the time. It's, that's it's right. It's what you eat the majority of the time that you Amen. are eating and stuff. Well, thank you so much, Susan, for being on the show today. I really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. You know, I love you too. I'd be with you anytime. Oh, thank you thank so much. You. Well, hang on the line there. We're going to close out our live show. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who is on the live show. And you can do that by going to extremehealthradio.com forward slash live on typically on Monday and Friday, but uh, for sure every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So if you guys want to join the chat room, you can do that. And if you enjoyed this show, please do Susan and us a favor and please share it with your Facebook friends. We'd be greatly appreciative if you would do that. So that would be a great way to support us. If you want to share it with all of your Facebook friends, that would be amazing. And this was episode 351. So any of the uh, Clarisonic and all the links and stuff that we talked about, we'll put on this show page, extremehealthradio.com forward slash 351. And um, join us again this Friday for another sh- episode. And that's about it, right? We love you guys and continue soaking up your holiday fun and just remember to enjoy it, but be mindful. Yes, I agree. I love it. We love you guys. I will right, we'll catch you on the next episode. 
Awesome. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you next year. Look yes. forward to it. Happy New Year, Happy Christmas, and everything. Enjoy. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, they always say Happy Christmas in England. I love that. Happy Christmas. I love it. I like that too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Happy Christmas. I will right, we'll talk All soon. Right, you Thanks. too. Thanks. Bye. 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 Well, that was a really fun show, wasn't Aww, it? Oh, I love her. We've got a lot to break down, don't we? We do. Yeah, we're gonna. We've got a lot to uh, a lot to say about this particular show. And Susan, we just love her a lot. So we're gonna take a little break. And we'll be right back. I have been a huge fan of rebounding for many, many years. And if you want to get in great cardiovascular shape, tone your legs, back, and butt, and stomach as well as cleanse your lymphatic system from toxins and chemicals, you just have to start rebounding. It's imperative. And not only will it create endorphins that quickly become addictive to you, but it's very low impact as well. It helps to prevent sicknesses and diseases as well as increase bone density and it flushes toxins from your lymphatic system. It's amazing. And not only that, but it's a ton of fun also. I do it every single day for about 15 minutes. And we found the best rebounder on the market today in the world, bar none. It's called the Bellicon Rebounder. It's the Rolls Royce of rebounders, in my opinion. And let's listen to some of what our guests have had to say about rebounding. Robert von Sarbacher is a health researcher and creator of the Mini B Protocol. And Robert, what's your favorite exercise? Uh, in general, uh, okay, probably one of the number one anti-aging exercises on the planet is is uh, rebounding. So 15 minutes a day is good for, for that. You can find people who uh, have had thermography scans on cancers, uh, giant tumors, and when they're doing a um, rebounder, it would start spewing out and shrinking right in front of your eyes, the tumor would, as they're on the rebounder. So it's really good for that sort of thing. It's also very good for exercising internal organs. It's the only internal organ exerciser that I know of known to man. Dr. Lindsay Duncan is the CEO and founder of Genesis Today. And what's the best way that you think of to stimulate the lymphatic system of the body? Rebounding is incredible because it's good for the lymphatic system and there's more lymph fluid in the body than there is blood. And the quickest way and the most effective way to get the lymphatic system flowing is through rebounding itself. Yeah, because the lymphatic system can't really detox itself, can it? I think you know. No, the heart, we have the heart, thank you, for pumping blood. And we don't have a heart to pump lymphatic fluid. The only thing that really can pump lymphatic fluid is cardiovascular exercise utilizing the thighs, the thigh muscles. And that's why rebounding and getting a burn in that thigh muscle is so important for the flow and the stimulation of the lymphatic fluid. Wow, and they even put cancer patients on rebounding, don't they? Nutritionists do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but not a conventional doctor. But yeah, I've been learning about rebounding lately. It's quite an amazing thing. Yeah, rebounding is amazing. Health researcher and author of Cancer Step Outside the Box, Ty Bollinger. What do you do in your life to prevent cancer? What do you do to treat cancer? What do you do to prevent it? Rebounding is something that I try to do on a daily basis, mm -hmm. a little mini trampoline for those people that aren't familiar with the term rebounding, but it's basically just jumping up and down on that little mini tramp. Mm -hmm. What that does is it stimulates the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is one of our primary detoxification systems in our body, and most folks don't stimulate their lymph flow, and so they're, the toxicity in their body builds up because their lymph is not stimulated, and the up-down motion on a rebounder stimulates the lymph flow better than just about any other exercise. So mm -hmm. I do that almost almost on a daily, probably five days a week, I would say I average doing that. And finally, author and speaker and creator of the Longevity Now program, David Wolf. Do you think the Bellicon is the best rebounder on the market today? Absolutely. I, I was just with the crew in Europe that does the Bellicon rebounder, which is an incredible rebounder. My God, what a machine. Mm -hmm. And it's, it doesn't use metal springs. It uses like flexi ropes. So it's very soft and fun and it's just great to play with. Well, there you have it. The up and down G-force actually stimulates every single cell in your body. It's incredible. And as someone who works out in the gym a lot and does Qigong, I think that the best physical aerobic exercise, in my opinion, is rebounding. It's just absolutely incredible for the human body. And the Bellicon is silent and it comes with a warranty and you can get them in several different sizes and colors and some of them have bars that you can hold on to in case you're worried about balance. 
It's a well worth it investment in your health and in your future. So check them out in our store if you'd like, or you can check out the videos on extremehealthradio.com forward slash Bellicon. Again, that's extremehealthradio.com forward slash Bellicon. That's B as in boy, E L L I C O N. shows all the time on extreme health radio opening minds and transforming lives worldwide join our community today sign up to our email list and instantly get our free gift to you along with loads of inspirational content and cutting edge tips to help change your life at extremehealthradio.com slash subscribe Susan Smith Jones. That's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, it's sounds great. like an actress. You got to have, you know, because like she says in her bio that you know her name is very um, uh, average. Mm-hmm. So when you have an average name like that, you have to have three names. It's true. You know, can't be Susan Smith or Susan Jones. No, no, no. got to be Susan. It works Smith great. Jones. It's memorable. Memorable. I love it. I agree. It. So what did you think? Well, I'll tell you. I think my my hangover days are behind me, thank God. Yeah? I really didn't drink. I I liked my wine. Rarely had a hangover, but man, two birthdays ago, when I knew better. Woo! What 34th happened? birthday, that was ugly. Share share with the people. <laughs> what happened? Well, I that's what's so funny about this birthday. It's like What happened to baby King? You think at 21 you might go a little nutty, right? Well, but you were you're a late bloomer. I'm a late bloomer. I didn't even have my first <laughs> sip of alcohol till I was 24, I think. Really? Yeah, I just never never appealed to me and unfortunately, but fortunately, I mean there were some good times in there where I liked my wine, but um There's yeah. Some good times. 34, my two best friends took me out down um about an hour and a half away to go line dancing and oh my gosh we went to this bar restaurant thing before and i had never had a shot if you can believe that really in my entire life i'd never had a shot oh my and they goodness. thought that was funny so they're buying me shots for my birthday and then pretty soon everyone around thinks it's really weird that i'm 34 years old never had a shot so they start buying me shots and it was ugly i think i probably had about eight shots and about three glasses of wine let me say this again oh. you had how many shots probably eight no way. Over like a two hour period. Are you serious? Yeah. And then we left to go line dancing and I continued <laughs> to drink red dance? wine. How did you line dance? Oh, not very good. I'm sure. I don't, I'm glad that's not on video. Wouldn't that be, I was just going to say, wouldn't that be hilarious? But you know, I think at that? the time I was just like, you know, you're so mellow and you're, you know, I probably was actually a pretty good dancer. <laughs> I thought I was probably dancing off that and I thought I'm going to come home and have no problem. And after karaoke and dancing later, which I'm sure neither were my best moments, I, Ended up, they drove me home, and let me tell you, it was, you remember this, the worst, the worst couple days of my life after does, that. Does Christy have this on on, uh, on her phone or anything? Oh, the gosh, karaoke? I hope not. Oh, I'm going to email her. Not. No. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I got some bartender up there on the stage with me, and we were singing a duet. It was horrible. Oh, my gosh. What is this it? This is just not me, so it was so, it was so stupid. Alcohol just makes you stupid. <laughs> But you know, you know how bad that was. Is then I didn't even cut, make it to bed. Yeah, I remember you came home and I, I stumbled I in here into the the studio. You slept, yeah. And I just slept. I remember that. I, I laid on the ground with Maggie, and then I woke up at like three in the morning with a dog on my chest, and my I don't know what I was doing. I didn't know where I was, and then pre- proceeded the next two days. I mean, it was ugly. The dark side of baby cake. Oh, comes out. it was horrible. Oh <laughs> gosh, dark that side was, was um, bad. That was wild. Yeah, I remember that. You felt bad for days. Days. I can't I believe was, you really did eight shots. That's in, that's incredible. Oh, now. it was incredible. Plus, was how inc- many glasses of wine did you At drink? least three. It was bad. Bad news. Oh my gosh. And for me, I mean, I'm you know I'm a slight build, and I don't have a really high alcohol tolerance. I mean, a glass and a half of wine is enough for me to feel pretty gross. Actually, yeah. I have to be really careful to stop at one usually. So, what, oh, were they gosh. all the same kind of shots or different shots? Oh no, that's the problem. Oh, mixing all. The oh, alcohol. it was it was horrible. I thought I was going to die. That's and so, alcohol one hundred and one. You should have been. T- who, 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 I know they didn't. They didn't train you. They didn't I know. teach you. When that whole beer before wine, you'll feel fine. And yeah. then you have that little poem where you're supposed to remember how to, the yeah. order in which to drink if you're going to be smart. But 
it was just like I was 34 and I went nuts. It was like girls gone wild. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. You're just going crazy. But it I was remember because you had never really done anything done it, like yeah. that before. Never again. That was a one time thing. But you know, it wasn't even worth it because I remember the next day just wanting to die like the head and the vice and the throwing up and then i remember asking you like what can i do naturally because i knew better i was eating pretty clean these days mm-hmm. and you know it was just one of those times where i was just this before well, before we started the show or after it was before wasn't it gosh it was a few years ago wasn't it yeah maybe before the show I don't know, maybe right at the beginning of the show yeah. maybe before i joined you and knew better after listening to all these yeah. <laughs> wonderful guests yeah. but yeah i was taking all kinds of great stuff to soak it up i was doing milk thistle we went out and bought me some melons um, yeah. try to get all the b vitamins and unfortunately i ran into a few friends at the store and i was like bent over like an l walking yeah. like looking white i actually looked green i mean it was it was the worst but you know what's funny is whew. that is like we're talking about before. I just picture in my mind when someone is, it's just such a funny dichotomy because the average person that goes out drinking, they don't even know what acid versus alkaline is. So it's, it's just so funny for me to think that there would be someone out there that would, um, understand everything we're talking about, acid, alkaline, enzymes, B vitamins and all this stuff, and then go out and make a smoothie and a juice and then go drinking. <laughs> right? It's just so funny. I know. That was funny when she said that, but I thought, you know, there's a couple of holiday parties this year I'm going to go to, and I might enjoy a glass of wine, but I'm actually going to, yeah. I'm going to do it smart, even a glass, because I'm going to make sure it's sulfite-free organic and mm-hmm. might bring my own bottle to open and share at the parties, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I know it sounds silly, but I'm, I'm going to really hydrate before and do a green juice or smoothie, and then afterward do the same thing. It's like, that I know, and it's sweat it out, you know? Even a glass, I just like to get it out of my body Have you if I'm going to sip on it during a holiday party. Have you ever seen those things at like 7-Elevens where there's those, those little packets of vitamins? And there's something that I remember seeing and where they would, it was marketed and sold for people to soak up their hangout. It's a chaser. Is that what it is? Yeah, they had it as like a chaser. You could take it and, yeah, and soak up everything. What it is that? It must have been a high B vitamin content. Do you think? Do you think or it was- activated charcoal. Yeah, that's right. I wonder if it was. Yeah, I've I've, I've seen that. You know, there's natural remedies and and um those little packets at the health food store, our local one down here. Oh really? Oh, right at the register. Unfortunately, but yeah, you know, people do drink, and you know, there's no judgment. But if you want to try to do it smart, I mean, there are these really great. And I looked at the back one time, and it's all these awesome herbs and vitamins. And oh really? Oh yeah. So I thought you, that, can, you know that's good to have on hand at this time of year. You can get some really good um like activated charcoal that's made from coconut on Amazon and things. We'll put a link to that. Um, you know, so yeah, yeah, there's some really good things that people can do, um, if they really want to sort of have some drinks and, um, I'm, I'm someone like you now, I can't tolerate anything. If I have one glass of wine and one, like one, um, healthy glass of wine, like a healthy amount of Mm -hmm. wine would make me feel, I would start, I would start to feel buzzed right away. Oh, totally. The cleaner you get. And I think the less you drink alcohol, the more you're affected. Um, yeah. I had a glass yesterday when I was making our Christmas dinner with your for your parents. Oh yeah, and did that affect you? You know, it didn't affect me. Um, that wasn't the normal wine, though, was it? That was a sulfate free, organic, no detectable sulfate wine. I thought or they free. had. I thought they gave you something different. Oh, this is when I was cooking. Your parents had like I just pretended to kind of sip on that one because oh. that was chock full of sulfites, and I don't do well with that. Oh right, and right. it was sugary. It's that white Zinfandel, which I don't care for. Oh yeah. If I'm gonna have a glass, it's gonna be red, and it's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> but um. All right. But you know, I just didn't. Even though I wasn't affected by it really, I just didn't feel great. I didn't like the way I mentally kind of felt a little looser, you know, which normally can be a little fun. But I wanted to be in control and get stuff done, and I just felt tired. Yeah. And I don't like that feeling. I just, I rarely drink and um, I'm just really trying to get my body, you know, in a really good place. So yeah. yeah, it was, it was good for me to go through and just kind of experience why I don't like to experience that very much anymore. Yeah, it's, it's good. And it's, I, I think too, the more you have a passion for your existence, I think the more you realize what you're here for and you're not depressed about your job or not depressed about your relationships or I think the more you feel happy in your life, the less you have a desire to drink because there's no re- real reason to sort of numb out and sort of not have the ability to feel things. And I, I agree. Because you feel good most of the time. So you, so you don't need to sort of check out like that, you know? Um, I need to check out the biomat. Yeah, yeah, the biomat's pretty awesome. The thing's like being drunk. I mean, yeah, you, sit, you lay on that thing and you don't know where you are, what you're doing. It's awesome. It's pretty amazing. It really it? takes away. I mean, and then you wake up feeling refreshed and restored and obviously not depleted of anything. It's it's pretty. It's the closest I can I can really get to feeling a little bit out of my body like you do when you drink. 
Well, for me, what's even um, bumped up the biomat is the float that you feel I out of your body. I completely agree. But those, I mean, those are, the biomat's what, um, a cup, uh, 1500 bucks and the float tank's about 30,000. So, <laughs> so it's not, there's no, there's no choice there. Uh, it's mm-hmm. pretty easy which one to, but, um, I, I want to let everyone know too, uh, the Bellicon, I don't know if you knew this, Kate, the Bellicon is running a $50 off, uh, Oh yeah, through there. do you know through when? Yeah, we just ran an ad for them. Uh, it's through the holiday seasons, and I think it says um, for um, and, until they sell out of okay. these things. But um, you get three DVDs also if you order um, by let's see December seventeenth. What's the date today? Oh my gosh, it's two days from now. That's two days from now. Today's the fifteenth, and they also guaranteed um, uh, uh, shipping by Christmas too. Oh, awesome! That's the kind of the cutoff for that. Yeah, okay. and you get fifty bucks off, and there's a there's the coupon code holiday 25 classic and holiday 50 premium. Uh, if you scroll down on our Facebook site, you can see, uh, we give you the link. Uh, you have to go through our link to get it. And then you enter in those codes, um, holiday 25 classic and holiday 50 premium, and you can get 50 bucks off. So that's pretty cool. Not a bad gig. Yeah. Yeah. I like Susan Smith Jones. She's uh, got a lot of energy. I like her. And, um, you know what it was particularly interesting to me is doing those, um, Doing those masks, like I thought, what if we added some colostrum to that, to that the the colostrum that we get from um, Sir Thrival? Yeah, right? Yeah. Huh. That's I'm sure you really, could come up with the most healing super mask. You put in there a little um, honey for the enzymes, mm-hmm. maybe a little bit of, um, uh, do people do, could you do that with activated charcoal? Because that could probably bring out, I mean, it'll be black, but <laughs> it could bring out. A, I don't know. It could pull out, but we do. Uh, clay. Clay. Gosh, I'm sure. She has this one on here. Let's see. I was just on it. I wasn't able to find her newsletter. That December newsletter, where is that? I, I found it. Um, How do you get there? It also has a warm... She has on this, the December one, a warm oatmeal spirulina facial mask. Oh. With hot water, rolled oats, plain yogurt, honey, and Hawaiian spirulina. I mean, you could get you could get really creative. Okay, so you go to... Let me get that. So I'm on her homepage so right now. So go to SusanSmithJones.com. Okay. And then right there, there's a um, her December with her photo. Right in there in the middle, right the, the middle? December newsletter, a little link, a yellow oh, one right above it. Right and right in front of my and face. And there you go. And there's your answer. And there's your answer. Ah, look how long this is. Yeah, it goes and goes and goes and she does have, it's chock full of great, oh gosh, great pictures, but great, great articles. My there's goodness. things about, I have to read a little bit of this Wait, one. Are, is this all one newsletter? Yes. Whoa. I know. Health. Wow. That's a, this is a lot of. Can I read something cute? Yeah. She has this one called Inner Peace and Keeping Your Pets Healthy. Here it is. If you can start the day without caffeine, if you can always be cheerful, ignoring aches and pains, if you can resist complaining and boring people with your troubles, if you can eat the same food every day and be grateful for it, if you can understand when your loved ones are too busy to give you any time, if you can take the criticism and blame without resentment, if you can conquer tension without medical help, if you can relax without alcohol, if you can sleep without the aid of drugs, then you are probably the family dog. (laughs) Nice. Isn't that true? That's hilarious. (laughs) And she put, and you thought I was going to get all spiritual. Handle every stressful situation like a dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, pee on it and walk away. (laughs) And she talks about how to keep your pets and animals healthy for the season. That's so funny. She's great. She's super entertaining. I love her. 12 tips to attract money, prosperity, and success. Oh, I like that. The joy factor. Wow, she's uh, wow. You can, wow, and this is a lot of work she's put in. Yeah, this I know that's quite the newsletter, isn't it? How regular exercise protects the heart and enriches your life. That's cool, right? Um, what else does she have on here? Let's see. E three live. Are you a wordsmith? Um, Twenty natural remedies to prevent and heal hangovers. Nice. I know she's got it's chock full of stuff, man. This is cool. Right? This is really good. Yeah, so what, you know what, what what we'll do is a lot of people will listen to this particular show. They could listen to it three years in the future. So what we'll do is we'll put a link to this newsletter because I'm sure um, after the after December's over, she's going to remove that link from her homepage. So mm-hmm. we'll put this link. Um, episode was 351, right? Yep, you got it. ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash 351. And there'll be links uh, to the colostrum and to... Um, what is that ultrasonic? Or, or oh, what the Clarisonic. Ooh, I've wanted one of those forever. What... Um, can you get those? Is it? Uh, Clarisonic. You, you can get it on Amazon. Can you? Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, they're amazing. I, I really want one. They're not, they're not cheap. There are cheaper knockoff versions, but I've talked with clients who've used them for years and that's the, the, is that kind of the go-to thing? The go-to one. How much do you think they are? Like a hundred and fifty, hundred. Oh, I thought you were going to say in the thousands. Oh, no, 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 no. 150 bucks? I think so, around there. hundred, 150. And so it has some sort of attachment that you can't, it, it's like it a little be, spinning head. But it wouldn't be good, she said, to have for people like to share it. No, but I think it's like a, like a Clarisonic. What are the, not Clarisonic. Um, oh, what are those toothbrushes that are, yeah, those, where you can put the different heads on them? The picks. The picks, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's cool. You want one of those, huh? Oh my gosh. I want one so bad. I've wanted one for years, but wow, that's cool. <laughs> it's one of those things I actually have for my New Year's kind of, um, skincare regimen. Yeah. Here you go. The Clarisonic Mia 2. It's 119 bucks on Amazon. Oh, okay. And, this- and then they go up. Uh, Clarisonic skincare. Uh, another collection, one sixty nine. They they're around there. Nice. They have really cheap versions, like you know Olay and other people make them. But um, I just from what I've heard, they they aren't as great, and they kind of gum up more, and they they stop working a little bit. Okay, cool. Faster. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, I think that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's uh, that was a good amount of that's information. A, great. All right. Well, if you guys would do us a favor, we'd greatly appreciate if you guys could share our show with your friends. If you know anyone um, that would appreciate this interview, we'd really appreciate it if you could share it with your friends. That would be amazing. And don't forget to check out our store. We've got lots of great stuff in our store where you can get the saunas, the rebounders, the Bellicons, all that stuff, Vitamix blenders, and all kinds of cool stuff in our store. So check that out. And... um and if you guys could too, also another really great thing is if you would be able to leave us a review on iTunes, we would really appreciate that. Um, that really does help us a lot. Uh, it helps for people to find us on iTunes and help us. It helps us to spread the message too. Um, so if you can remember to go back to your computer, if you're out and about running errands right now or exercising, if you can remember to go back to your computer, please, if you can, and go to iTunes and just leave us a quick little review and subscribe to us on there. That will help us so much. And I realize it it's it doesn't seem like it does, but if if all of you were able to do that, it would be such a huge help. And mm-hmm. so we're, we are relying on each and every single one of you who are listening to this. So um, that would just be an incredible help uh, to us. So um, is that about it? I think that's it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, we'll catch you on the next episode. Hey everybody, this is Josie, Justin's mum. Don't tell him, but I know he would absolutely be really happy if you would sign up to his free weekly newsletter. And don't forget to share this with all your friends. This is the buzzing bumblebee signing off. Oh, so good. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for listening to this episode. It's time to go for now, but our mission does not end with this show. Justin and Kate will be back with another interview packed full of ideas, discoveries, and unique ways to regain your health. Head on over to extremehealthradio.com forward slash subscribe and instantly download our free gift too that contains cutting edge strategies to start making healthy lifestyle changes today. No material on this blog is intended to suggest that you should not seek professional medical care. Always work with qualified medical professionals, even if you educate yourself in the field of live food, nutrition, and alternative medicine. I'm not a doctor, nor am I offering readers medical advice of any kind.